Okay. Uh, thank you, Melvin. Should I stand? <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, everyone. Can you see me or can you hear me? Um, so uh, today I was like uh, adult or uh, was told to to share something about um, learning uh, how I learned to build iOS app without storyboard. Um, probably uh, just a little bit about me. Um, my name is Fina Rianti and I'm a Swift developer. Um, before I just want to like say say thank you to wait where's the pictures say thanks to my <laughs> friends <laughs> uh, they are here today and that's why I'm very nervous um, uh, sorry <laughs> and my colleague sorry <laughs> wait, wait, wait. okay so the the reason why uh, I started to learn to make an app without storyboard is that. For every new beginning, right, newbie in the Swift, usually they start with the storyboard, and then um, and then uh, you deal with those kind of weird behaviors in the storyboard, and you feel like you uh, you're starting to curious why is this storyboard like that? For example, this is uh, my like very first app that I make. Then it it just has a three view controller, and then the next time I open. Uh, it actually becomes like that. So I was like, uh, oh, I have to rearrange everything again. Um, so after some experience with that, I, I can personally uh, conclude that uh, the storyboard is really cool and uh, really good because they are so visual based. They, they let you drag and drop so many elements. They're fast. They're also very magical and there's, they are easy to do uh, your auto layout. But there are also some um, disadvantages for that. For example, you don't really understand how export generate the code for you. Um, and when you do in a team, uh, you, that code actually gets uh, conflict easily. Um, I, I can show you later how, uh, what it means. Um, and then uh, because Xcode is too magical, uh, and then you also wouldn't know what exactly has been done to your elements for that. Um, what I mean is that uh, something like this. Uh, wait. Oh yeah. Okay. For example, I, for example, I have a storyboard here, and um, let's say I drag and drop a new view controller, and then. I find out a label, and then I put in new label, right? And then I will set, let's say, uh, some colors to the font and uh, to be red. And then uh, I close the I close the project, and then you uh, you open it, and then uh, you don't really you can you cannot really guess like what did I do with this particular label and I mean this is just a label and it has a lot of properties like for example the accessibility where for example the accessibility identifier right um, and then another way to to understand um, why the generated code is a bit tricky is when you hey, don't check when you actually do the storyboarding, uh, if you look your code changes through any uh, visual Git client like source tree, you know that the main storyboard actually uh, do the changes for you. Right? This kind of code is not really readable by, I mean, it's still readable if you look closely. Uh, but as a newbie, right, uh, I was like quite confused like what actually this storyboard doing. Um, for that reason, on one good day, <laughs> I actually uh, saw there is this guy in the internet. His name is Brian Fung, and he was teaching uh, he was teaching people like how do you clone the App Store interface. Uh, I watched his first video and I was like instantly captivated. Wow, this guy is so cool! And then. Uh, who doesn't want to clone the App Store interface, right? It's so cool, and I realized that that was the first time I, uh, I encountered this thing called collection collection view, right? Mm. 
And then uh, after following his video for some time, I get the opportunity to create the iOS Conf application with a storyboard. And this was how it looks like, some of the screenshot. And so let's, uh, tonight we're going to try to build a simple to-do app without storyboard. And just to tell you that I have so much fear also. <laughs> okay, when you do a simple story, simple, uh, when you do the app without storyboard, actually what you need to do is to remove the storyboard. Like you need to make the main interface as a blank, right? I should do the live coding by now, right? Whew. Okay. I close this one and I, let's create a new. I uh, mean, what? If you cannot see the code, I'm really sorry. You can move to the front. <laughs> new project, and then any single view. And let's say we're going to do like just a to do for iPhone. Okay. To show you uh, what does it do on the background, I will quickly go to my project folder and go to this folder that was created and show you that the when you create a new project, project, right? The only thing that S, uh, Xcode do is create the initial uh, git commit for you, and then it will change uh, somehow this XC scheme, right? Actually, we can ignore this, but, um, and start coding right away. Okay, um, as I said before, delete the main interface, right? The moment I delete the interface, see, this one is already uh, changing. It has already some changes. And what I do next is go to the app delegate and uh, basically initialize my window, right? Window is UI window of uh, frame is UI, hey. <coughs> UI screen dot main dot mouse. I think I better mirror it. Very, very mirror, mirror. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what this line says is basically uh, create a window where the window has a frame, is my UI screen uh, bounce frame. And then. Uh, we have a empty view controller here, and uh, I'm going to initialize our root view controller controller as that controller, right? So, oh yeah, sorry. And then you have to make the make key and visible, and then window dot root view controller equals to the view controller that we have. Actually, that's it. That's the only thing that you need to do for that. In, and in order to prove you that it works, I will change the background color, view.background color as UI color dot yellow, for example. Oh, sorry, orange is better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want seven plus. Mm, where is it? <coughs> Doesn't have to do. <laughs> <coughs> wait, 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 wait. Use cancel, your, cancel. Uh, use your zoom. Oh, smaller pause again. Command three. I did already. Command three. Command three. Command four. Command four. Okay. Yep. Uh, by the way, if you have any question, feel free to. Ask me, but please don't be uh, like, like some some too expert question. <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, there are some experts here that can help me answer for me. Okay. Uh, basically, what we want to do here is um, a simple to-do list with without a storyboard. Just to remind you. 
plus. Ok, um, yum, yum, yum. Here, yeah. We pass this one. Um, is it starting? Uh, and the code will be available at the GitHub, so don't worry. Uh, and then uh, basically when you create a view controller right, and we want to make a to-do list, uh, we, we will make it a subclass of UI table view controller later on. Um, quickly start. <laughs> it's 16 dB and it's very slow. Four. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will try to run it again. <coughs> Build succeed. Yellow. <laughs> yeah, so actually, our view controller is really initialized. And usually, what you want to do is you add a navigation controller. And when you do from storyboard, usually you click the editor and then uh, embed in, right? But we don't really have that option now. So all we need to do is basically instance uh, setting. Oh, sorry. Root view controller is the view controller, and then after that, from the view controller, I can access the navigation item dot title as. I say my to do list like that. That's that's all you need to do to uh, in it to begin without storyboard, and it appears here, right? Okay. So now we move on to the next uh, step. What we need to do is that uh, we're going to subclass the UI, UI table view controller. Only after then we get to access some of the uh, protocol function of the table view, like number of rows and cell for row. Uh, in order to do that, I simply change this view controller to table view controller. And basically, it will give me some error because I never implement anything. You know, error, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, basically, after this, you can access, you can type like number of rows in section. And for now, we just call, like, we want to return three. And then uh, the second one is cell for row at index part. And then um, we actually need a cell for that. So we can just like, create a cell. But we don't know what is it now, right? And then we later need to return the cell. So um, I'm going to skip that for now. Um, what we need to do for the next step is to create the cell class that we're going to reuse for that. How do we do that? It's actually very, very easy. We create a new class called, let's say, my task cell. And we're going to sub subclass it from UI table view cell. And basically, here, what you need to do is just do the init, init. Here, super dot init mm, style uh, reuse identifier. It will give me some error because I have to override it. And the second error is this one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Once we have the cell, we don't have anything yet in the cell. We have to register the cell um, in our view controller. The way to do it is that um, we can instantiate the cell ID, cell ID, and then uh, wait, the next is register table view dot register class. The the class name is the one that we just created and for the cell ID all right and so here we can call um, table view dot DQ reusable this one cell ID for 
the e next part and we have to down cast it as tassel k got any error no error so far but we don't know whether it works or not so uh, basically i'm just launching it again Ooh. <laughs> yeah so this one is actually our prototype cell here which has nothing okay um, i'm gonna change i'm gonna put the okay so uh, the next step af after we create the cell we have to create the elements of the cell right for example in this case i just want the element to have uh, one line oh hi kale <laughs> one line called uh, my my task um so here is where the the layout without storyboard thing is very useful and quick for example in the cell i want one label right uh, so i just create label equals to ui label uh, sorry not equals it's a type of ui label and create the label right away hmm. then let label equals to ui label label then label dot text equal to i say my task um in order for your layout thing to be functioning is you have to set the translate authority sizing mass into constraint as false and then return the label <laughs> and then um, here we can have another function for example I will have something like setup view to place my label and then I will define the function setup views and how I add the label is by saying add subview the label and I want the label to be vertically uh, in the middle and but it's horizontally left uh, horizontally left what so um I have the code here ready so to save time I just copy paste okay <laughs> okay so basically what this says is um, I can rename it taste task label um, when horizontally I want the label to be 8 pixels from the left and then take whatever take whatever remaining space for this element Okay, and then uh, vertically, I want this element to be uh, vertically centered, like this. Okay, uh, now we shall see if this works. <laughs> Any questions so far? Okay, now you know, you can see that I have three rows because here I say uh, number of rows is three and every cell I want to use this task cell and inside the task cell I will have a my task three piece okay like that so far uh, perhaps um, if let's say I want the my task to be to be right center right what i need to do is that i delete the eight and this is the left one and i want to i'm going to say like um 12 from the right so i just change this part something like that where where where, where? no like that well uh 12 and 8 doesn't really matter let's see let's change to 52 to prove that that works okay <sighs> yeah so now it's like right center 
Okay, uh, now if we move on to um, how to make the cell task dynamic in the sense that how do you pass uh, dynamic data from the view controller to the task cell, right? Um, in order to do this, right, we have to create um, we have to create an array of string, and then we create that string, and then basically we pass it through the cell when we say we want to reuse that cell. So uh, let me make that task is an array of string is an empty array. And then um, in the view did load, I will say cell.task.append my string. For example, you know, pay phone bill. And then I'm um, going to watch Star Wars. And then sell the task. We will have, um, I don't know, sleep, maybe. And then we have four mm, pen. It's a return set to hackerspace. Hackerspace my to-do list, right? <coughs> Why error? Oh, yeah. Um, so I have the task array here. Uh, and basically now it, I should change the three rows that I have to become the how many task count do, do I have? And then in the cell, I can set something like my cell dot task label equals to mm, the task array at index path dot item. By setting this, why also error? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always miss that. So happy to see, to have every. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so now we know that these are our to-do list according to what uh, we, the array that we already set, right? So the next step is that, of course, our to-do list is not um, complete without this thing called. Uh, that thing is already done and delete, right? So the iOS table has a very uh, handy stuff called swipe to delete. And wow, the text is not too big. Uh, and the way we do it is actually uh, we will add three more here, three more uh, function. Mm, let me cheat. Oh. It's called can edit row app. Okay, this means says like oh the user can edit, uh, so you have to return true. And then um, the next function is uh, for the editing style. Editing style for row at this one. And then basically, I'm I'm gonna copy and paste the code again. <laughs> basically, it says that if the user if the editing style is delete, then um, we will remove that array at that location, and then uh, delete that rows on the table view side with the animation of left. So we we'll see if that. Uh, so if I swipe to the left, then it has a delete button, right? If I delete, then it will go out. Okay. Um, another handy function that you would want to know is uh, the label for. Wait, the what? What does that mean? The label for uh, the delete. It's called the title for delete confirmation button. So we want to change this delete text to be something like 
return um, done and delete like that so when we set this one oh I need to take off a right and it should be done and delete like this one right you can notice that when you restart the the simulator then the items become the same again because uh, what we do is actually the memory array base so when, if I rerun again it will be there again okay mm. is all good so far uh, am I good time 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 okay just a little bit more <laughs> right uh, we also need a way to add add the new task okay uh, and to save time again I'm gonna copy paste basically what we want to do is that we want to add uh, a bar button on the right and when the, that is clicked then it will pop up the thing right so okay um, to add that actually in the view controller when it's loading I can instantiate my add button as this class call, called UI bar button and then I'm gonna say like okay when when this button is uh, tapped then find this function called handle add so we have to make that function called handle add somewhere in here to okay I'm gonna copy poise from here Okay. This handle had uh, is basically calling an alert controller with a save action and the cancel action. If the save action, it, uh, the save action actually asks a uh, add a task name text field, and when you key in something inside it, it will append it to our task array, and then reload the data of the table view, right? If it is cancelled, then just do nothing. Yeah, basically, it's that. Um, my error again. Oh, did I copy it twice? <laughs> oh, uh, some more. <laughs> okay. Then, right. Ah, okay, so let's see if it works. Okay, now the bar button here, and when you click add, it will ask you, like, okay, what's the name of the task? Like, uh, kick the ball. Uh, when you kick, then the kick will be added there. Right? Um, yeah, so actually, uh, back if we look at uh, our source tree again actually uh, it can tell you exactly like what I did with this view controller basically it's very clear that when you look at the code only you know that what is this person is doing or oh, this person is adding the label um, doing the constraint and stuff like that so you don't need to go back to the storyboard and uh, guess what is this person actually doing uh, Besides that, I think um, we can we can then uh, for me, I right, personally um, when I knew how to do this, actually uh, I was really glad that it's possible to develop an iOS app without storyboard, uh, and I know exactly what I'm doing with the, with each element. Um, there's no pot, uh, there's no uh, such a big code conflict that I have, uh, and last but not least, I. I feel like really unspeakable joy by learning <laughs> code. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess that's uh, that's the end of the sharing. Go if you got any question. <laughs> yeah, no question. Very good. <laughs> sure. Uh, okay. Um, so if you want to learn more, I really encourage you to go to um, this guy uh, called uh, Brian Fong. 
he has a website in videos.letsbuildthatapp.com and I can I can even tell you like um, wait a minute where's the where's the school mm. this is like one of uh, one of uh, the thing that he will teach you and I'm also doing right now it's actually uh, cloning the YouTube cloning the YouTube app where you have uh, something like this right uh, this is actually an API call to his server and he teaches you how you do a simple image caching uh, without any other library and basically he also tells you how to do like this kind of thing animations and stuff like that it's really cool and I highly encourage uh, everybody here whether you are new or not to learn from him um, yeah uh, that's it and <laughs> Speaker, <laughs> no question, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe just one question. Uh, if you were to do animation, hmm. would you animate the object itself or the constraint? Do you add any constraint? Um, if you want to do animation, usually it, they do it like UI view the animation something like that. It's not from the constraint. Yeah, but uh, which one would you animate the object, the object as a whole, well, or just the constraint? So let's say if you want to move the object by a few pixels. Oh, uh, then it's from the what? What does it call the CA basic animation? That one. You use that class, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, he's asking for your personal preference. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, um, um, if it is if it is to animate something like this, uh, wait, wait. If it is to animate something like this, right? Uh, he's basically using the UI view with uh, that kind of this thing called Spring Damp. So it's to soft soften the animation, uh, and there is also this thing called is in is out um, animation kind of thing. Uh, I can show you spring. Okay, yeah, this this kind of thing. So uh, when you want to show that thing, you you call this UI view the animate with how many duration using spring with damping one, and then there is the velocity that you want using curve is out and black view and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> One question, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think uh if you if you have questions uh if you watch uh, one of his video and you ask him via the YouTube comment, uh, <laughs> he he will definitely ask you one. Uh, even even for me, when I ask like four times, I got a reply four times. Uh, yeah, and I can I can guarantee you that you can really level up your skill uh, when you follow his uh, video. Like for one video of his uh, twenty minutes tutorial, like uh, I took two hours for the first time. Uh, looking at the two screen and my friend think that I'm looking at my boyfriend like every day like this guy is always on your monitor <laughs> yeah um, yeah <laughs> yeah because the way the way he teaches is that um, uh, the way he teaches is that um, very Hey, what is uh, right. <laughs> so, if you look at this screen like every day, people will think that what are you doing actually, right? Only watching video and and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Then he will teach he will teach you really step by step on um how to code your screen. So you don't need to worry whether you're left off or not. You just need to pause and then oh okay follow whatever he code. Uh, right. Yeah. Here we'll give a. Yeah. Email address. That's it. For the fun. <laughs> <laughs>